This car differs from other cars in many features. One point eight five million dollars. Hey everybody, it's Mike Tucker from Preston Tucker Speed Shop here again. I'm here with Mark Lieberman of Nostalgic Motoring, and we are here as a continuation of our last video. You remember this is the last Tucker engine ever produced. This is the last Tucker car ever produced, Tucker 1050. So interestingly, this car shows up for the first time in company documentation significantly after the rest of the cars. The, the first time we see this car mentioned as 1050 is in the auction bill. Uh, so for those that don't know, at the end of the Tucker Corporation, after the trial and, and all the other things that happened, there was a bankruptcy auction, and all of the cars that were remaining in inventory were sold at that auction. This car shows up for the first time in that auction as Tucker 1050, sold without an engine and without a transmission. So we know, and we talked about this in the last video, that this engine showed up in, in 1050 later, later and was put in by some very dedicated Tucker enthusiasts uh, back back sometime between 1950 and, and say, 1970. Um, so later, the last engine was made with the last car. But this car is very special because much like that engine where we talked about everything was NOS, this car for the last 70 years has essentially been a static display. So it's one of the very few cars where everything on the inside of, of the body, for example, so the floors are perfect. The uh, Every body panel and, and uh, the innards of, of those end up you know, lining up, I guess, as best as they can or as they did from the factory. And, and you don't see a whole lot of wear on the inside of this, um, the, the raw panels inside of the interior. So it's, it's a very special car in that it gave us a look at probably as close as we're ever going to see how these bodies left the factory. Now, we know the original color of this car was maroon. It's, it's not quite the maroon that this car has on it now. This is a little bit, uh, I'll say, brighter than it was before. But for two reasons, we know that this car was originally maroon. One, the auction bill happens to mention the color of this car, and it did say that it was maroon. And two, there's little bits and pieces of this car, and I'm going to show you one of them, where you can see the original Royal Maroon Tucker paint. So uh, if, you, if you look on the door button for the passenger side, uh, the, the, X, the, the metal around it is still the original Tucker Royal Maroon paint. Now, after 70 years of this car simply being a display piece, it will run for the first time. And the person that's going to make that happen is Mark Lieberman from Nostalgic Motoring. So I'm going to pass it over to him to talk about putting the engine back in this car. So we were tasked with it, by the owners with recommissioning this vehicle, getting it fully operational, just like it would have been in 1948, uh, had this entire production line continued and uh, this vehicle get completed. Well, being short the engine and transmission at that time, that prevented it from happening. And as Mike stated, it became a static display for collectors from that point on. Well, now it's going to be operational for its first time. So we took engine 33598, the final Tucker engine, and went through it. This was also a crate engine. We've discussed crate engines in some of our previous videos and how special they are. Well, this, in essence, was a new old stock engine. We went through it, made sure that everything was right, made sure the bearings were fresh, made sure that uh, all of the important internals were, were up to spec, test run it in a video, which I believe that you've seen as well, and uh, now this engine is ready to go in the car. We had to do various other things on this as well, uh, suspension, um, electrical, and even put an entirely fresh, correct interior in it, giving us you know, the ability to, to have this car not only complete, but correct in terms of its operation and its internal appearance. So when we complete the installation of this, we will take this car on the road and we'll drive Tucker number 1050 for the first time that it's ever been on the road. It's going to be an exciting day. Let's have a look at the interior and some of the special things that we've done with this. Now on the dashboard specifically, Sean and Mike helped us with the knobs and other components there in order to make it all absolutely fresh and accurate. Yeah, so what, what Sean ends up doing is he'll take the original, what we call the lollipops over here, and some of the dash knobs and the hood knob, and takes originals, he'll recast them, in silicone molds and then he will make 
new urethane piece is exactly matching the originals. And you can see here what the configuration of these look like. On, on most of the later cars, they have text on what we call the lollipop. So you see there it says heater, defrost, eye, and exterior. And then you've got the air mix knob, the fresh air knob, uh, the hood pull, and then what we call the dummy knob. But all of those have been recast to match the original. Now, Mark, you actually did quite a bit of work on the transmission in this car, correct? Yes. Well, here, have a look. And this is unusual because you can see this transmission from the back seat. When you remove the seat, you have an access panel. And through that access panel, you can see the whole back portion of the transmission. Well, we went through that transmission, every gear, every bearing, every seal, uh, the entire actuator system. Uh, there are four solenoids that all had to be uh, rebuilt and freshly configured in order to make sure that this thing operated as it would have brand new. And uh, that gave us uh, uh, great confidence that this car is going to operate like a, like a brand new factory fresh Tucker. All right, so as you can see, an open engine bay. Most people have never seen uh, a Tucker engine bay without uh, the engine in it. You can see how spacious it is. Lots of room to, uh, to install and remove the engine. You can see the business side of the transmission here waiting to receive the motor and uh, uh, the battery tray, um, the wiring, uh, and, and some of the lines. The other thing you can see very clearly is both torsolastic tubes for the rear suspension. An extraordinarily unique piece to Tucker, and to get these right, it has taken us many years to develop the technology and, uh, and produce replacements to these tubes in their original configuration so this car operates exactly as intended. And one of the, one of the other interesting parts about this in engine bay, Mark mentioned that it's very spacious. One of the selling points of this car was your ability to change out the engine versus having your whole car sit at the dealership. So when you when your engine had some sort of problem, uh, you would take it back to the Tucker dealer and they would actually swap your engine. So you can see back here, this cross member actually unbolts and it makes it very easy to drop the engine in and out of the car. So the idea was if, if you had an engine problem, you take it into the dealer, they pull your engine out very quickly by by using all this space to unbolt it, give you a loaner engine, put it back in your car, and you'd be on your way. They'd repair your engine, and then at some point later in the future, you would come back and, and have your original engine put back in the car. So when Mark received this car, the decision was made not to redo the body and the chrome and some of the exterior cosmetics of the car, because it, as a display piece, it really was functional enough uh, as, as time went on. So his focus was the drivetrain and, and the transmission because it was it was in a condition where it never ever would have ran and, and he put a lot of work into making that happen so uh, kudos to mark for getting another tucker running and driving a lot of people don't know that of the cars that are left many of them do not uh, i'll say function regularly because they are so difficult to continue with with all the maintenance that they have to keep them running and driving so there's a very small number that you could actually hop in and use and this this will be another one so thanks mark for 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 doing another one if you like these videos please like and subscribe to our channel preston tucker speed shop we're also on facebook uh preston tucker llc marks under nostalgic motoring and rob and bob ida our buddies in new jersey have have uh, facebook and a web page as well we are running a holiday promotion for some of our uh, clothing items. So you see this hat that I'm wearing here and this shirt. These are available at tuckercorporation.com from now until December 17th. If you enter the code HOLIDAY, you'll get 10% off anything site-wide. So if you're interested in any Tucker, Mer Tucker merchandise, go ahead and take a look at that. And with that, uh, the next video we'll be showing you is this engine hopefully in the car and, and partially having uh, this thing ready to function again for the first time. So stay tuned for that and thanks for watching.